Hi folks, Orcspreth here, back with some more Elder Scrolls Arena. Last time on Arena, we found the final piece of the Staff of Chaos. So our mission is almost complete, but we have yet to hear from Rhea. And I'm, I'm getting a little worried, to be honest. You walk into the Devil's Eagle from the cold, cloudy day, welcomed by the other patrons sequestered away from the elements. And yes, it is five in the afternoon. Uh, we've still got a room here rented from last night, but it won't actually last us this night. Um, but I guess let's camp for as long as we can. Four hours. And try to rent the room again. Actually, um, you can get a better room than the single. Uh, for 27, sounds fair. Alright. And... Let's go until morning. 7 in the morning, that's good. And now... Hmm. Yes, it's a foggy day in Balmora. Well, Stone Forest, same difference. I am really not sure what to do. Do I have anything needs selling, though? I have something that's identifying. Um. Well, excuse me. Where is... Oh, no. Uh... Where is the Mages... Mages Guild? South of here. Alright, let's identify these few marks uh, that I've collected. And then... I don't know. Is other oh, there it is. Excellent. Mages Guild. You enter the Mages Guild, an amalgamation of primordial relics, moldering scrolls, dripping unguents, and smoking fluids. An occasional groan or minor explosion can be heard coming from from the laboratories. At least it's not as cold and windy as outside. And let's detect magic on uh, marks. Shocking and shielding and crystal is sanctuary. And let's buy uh, 50 potions of restore power for um, 2875, 2885. 2892. Um. 2900. Yeah. Perfectly reasonable. And. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Because if Rhea is compromised, if Tharn has gotten to her, that's a problem, or if her power that stopped her from fading to the afterlife has waned, then that is a big problem. But the staff, let me think, what was the staff to be used for? I don't think I need to stick around in Belmora. Not that traveling will be easy here. Um. But what was the staff force to free the Emperor? But can I... Do I need to confront Tharn with that? I assume that Tharn holds the key to... Whatever gate to oblivion he used to imprison the Emperor. Hmm. 
So I think I need to be traveling to Cyrodiil and to the Imperial City. Let's uh, get a, a ship to the mainland to start with. You have arrived in the city-state of Ebonheart in Morrowind Province. The date is Morndas, 28th of mid-year, in the year 3rd era, 392. It took seven days to reach your goal. You enter Ebonheart, also known as the Black City. To the north, you can see the red-orange glow of Dagoth Ur, the fire cone on the Black Isle. The city's ruler has a reputation of being extremely ruthless. Oops. At least the weather has cleared up. It is mid-year. Hmm. Oh, well, this is worrying. Let's, uh, let's sell some things. Uh, where is the entrance? There it is. The Adventurer's Provisions. The interior of the Adventurer's Provisions is neat and well organized. You wipe the sweat from your brow and look over the weapons and gear. And let's sell the Mark of Shocking. I'm not even going to bother haggling. I really don't care that much. Um. Crystal of Sanctuary, you can go. I don't care. That's that's good. I think. That should be sufficient. On whatever. I'm, mainly I just want to have space in my inventory for anything I find. And I guess onwards to the Imperial City. I don't know what else to do. You have arrived in the Imperial City. The date is Turdas, 17th of Sun's Height, in the year 3rd Era 392. It took 18 days to reach your goal. You enter the Imperial City, the heart of Tamriel, and the seat of power for His Majesty the Emperor Uriel Septim VII. And it seems we have arrived in the middle of night. Let's... The light on? What? What is the hour? Four in the morning. Hmm. We have here. Oh! I congratulate you on your success. Have you discovered, however, what I have known all along? The staff is drained of all magical potential. I oh, hid it myself shit. before scattering the pieces across the realm. It is a useless stick, good for churning butter, or rowing a boat, but not for saving the Emperor. Come find me if you dare, and I will relieve you of any further burdens you may think to face. My legions await. Shit, and of course the Imperial Guard is after us. That is bad. That is... That is extremely bad. Staff is drained of power. So does that mean that whole quest was for nothing? Well, gathering the staff, perhaps. But, I mean, I have gathered plenty of experience and skill. I don't... I don't know if it will be enough to confront Tharn on my own without Rhea's aid nor the Staff of Chaos. I don't know if that could possibly do any good. But it's all, it's all I have left. Ah, um... There is very little hope left. But if Thorn is left to rule 
and the Emperor is not saved, Tamriel is doomed. I mean, I've seen on my travels, monsters in the streets, war between neighboring villages, it's chaos out there in the arena. <sighs> so all that remains is to enter the Imperial Palace and climb the White Gold Tower, or likely the dungeons below it, and face Tharn alone and without the staff. In the next episode, thank you all so much for watching. Please stop interrupting my outros. Uh, click the like button if you liked the video. Click the dislike button if you didn't. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you next time.